Playing this 12 times on their own computer. That's true. <laughs> yeah, we would, have to, we would have to download it and then push play simultaneously. Or everyone would have to be hardwired into the wall. No, you know what you could do? You could <laughs> download it and put them all into um, like GarageBand as separate tracks. And, and then, then just mix them together so you have one song. Weird that already enough. exists. <laughs> There's both a stereo mix down and 12 at once. Look at this. Her computer is playing again. But yeah, the phantom computer, computer strikes again. Sort of circumvents the actual purpose of yeah, having it's supposed people to be doing it. Around. Well, and that's one of the things that was so interesting about it is it got hugely loud. And that's when folks came in to yeah. ask us what we were doing is when all 12 tracks were at their loudest. Mm -hmm. And so imagine if you had a whole crowd all with their phone all with their cell phones all getting to that crescendo from that little tiny speaker. Mm -hmm. I mean that's that's what's so interesting about it is the multiplication of the devices. So our phantom <laughs> our phantom play still <laughs> continues. Maybe that Maybe that's why she killed it. <laughs> that crazy computer. I was when we were at the Fleming Listeners when they were playing Dark Side of the Moon for the cash register. Oh, yeah, they they want everyone's alarm to go off. Yeah, right. It was very impressive at like the same time. Yeah. <laughs> Our cell phone alarms. I think it's interesting where they try to make more variables that could like, that skew. So you're, every time it's played, you're going to get a different playing of the song, just because of the hardware and so mm -hmm. <laughs> kind of sucking. So then what's the point of the experiment? This experiment? Yeah. Or in general? Variability. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I think what it is, is it's trying to recreate a communal experience that is something that has been decommunalized by recorded music. So you put chants back in, you put the the space back in you put who was there at the time back in and so you get a one-off experience for the first time that you haven't had since the advent of recorded sound theoretically you get that every time you go to a concert yeah but one of the things now that's going on with a concert is to create in as close fidelity as possible the experience of the record mm -hmm. rather than the record being the perfect experience and then you get brian eno in the mix messing things up by creating the studio as instrument. And so okay. you get the Beatles creating sounds that are only possible in the studio. Mm -hmm. So this one conceivably every time, whether it gets shut down or not,